didn't sit down here. Okay. Okay, so. I don't even know where to start. Okay. So, I have a lot of tulips, you guys. You already noticed because of the title. So, um, yes. I already cleaned up my bed a little bit. Um, as you saw in my past video, I dug out my dahlias and I did my best to try to save them for next year. And I um, really quick just uh, blew away all the leaves that were there from the neighbors. I don't have any trees. However, I have plenty of leaves. So, um, I mean, that's okay. I'll use them for uh, compost and mulching and whatnot. But that bed, that bed needs to be done like for the year. I, I need to be done with it. And today just happens to be beautiful outside. It's, it's about 70 degrees the high today. So I'm excited for that. So let me show you a few things that I have. Basically the idea for that bed when I'm planting all of the tulips is to be pink and white. Um, I don't think that I have any purples other than the alliums. Let me start with the alliums. I got this set, hopefully it's not too shiny. Admire. I got two of them. I don't know if you can see it very well with the shyness of it. They have 15 bulbs here, a mix of alliums for $15. So about a dollar an allium. So it's not bad. Um, I'm going to have two of them. So I'll have a combination of what? 30 alliums there. And I know somewhere I have more alliums, but I'll have to go and dig over there where my husband can't find anything. So it's going to be against the wall. It's going to be a bunch of alliums. And then I will try. Normally, I um, what I have been doing in past years, I basically, if I have uh, different varieties, different colors of tulips, I basically just mix them everywhere together. But this time, I think what I'm going to do is that, like, I'm going to keep uh, like a flow of color. At least that's the idea. So like the pinks will be like going one way and the whites will be going another way. And uh, we'll see what they do. Also, I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical about these ones because these are double tulips and the thing about double tulips is that in the past for me anyways um they just get so heavy the blooms are way too heavy that once they start uh blooming and developing into the bloom they start getting heavy and going sideways and they just kind of become flat on the ground we'll see how these do again um look oh my gosh i got these ones at Meyer. Mm. so the alliums i got at Meyer. the these two varieties I don't know if you can see them very well. I got Admire, they're beautiful. And these two I got from Dutch Grown. I have like two of these, uh, 50 of them. And I got a combination of tulips here. Like, look at these. I think, hopefully they look okay. So, I have a lot to do. I have tons of tons of things to do. Um, so let's start. I told you I had more alliums hiding. So adding, how many more? 15, 23 more alliums. 23 more alliums to the mix, so. Okay, so if it's not too sunny, hopefully you can see what I did with the allium so far. Here are, here's the wall with the honeysuckle in the middle. And I basically make two trenches around the side. And I put the alliums there. You can see that there. And I just mix them up. The same thing on the other side. And the ones here in the middle, I left out because if you can see, like, let me show you. This bulb is huge compared to this next one. So I cannot bury them in the same. I cannot bury this one um, as deep as that one because it's, it will be like 
way too deep for this one. So I am going to cover them and then I'll put a couple of those over here on top and then I'll make some extra holes for those over there so that that's the middle part over here. I hope that makes sense. All right, you guys, so I am done uh, making holes and putting the tulips in them. I wanna just show you before I cover them how they are looking. Let me see if I can get a better view without all the shadows. As you can see, um, right along here, I made a bunch of holes right here. And I made holes here and there just putting the groupings together of how the tulips are um, staying. I didn't uh, worry about spreading them evenly. I just kind of make groupings here and there. And actually right here, you can see I have one group in there and one group in there. I sort of make a, a little hole here and there in between because these ones along along the lines of the boxwoods are the same variety the same color so i just wanna i have like groups 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 and then one or two in between the groups so hopefully that looks good here next year let me show you over here i don't know if you can see that all of the groupings are there together and I did my best to turn the tulips pointy side up so that they find their way in the spring. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to cover them with dirt. I'm going to give them a little bit of water and that is going to be it and I'm going to be officially done with this flower bed because my goodness I am I have been working little by little um, starting with those backswoods there and I'm done I am definitely done So I hope that you guys like this video. If you haven't, give us a like, subscribe maybe, and until the next video.